Excuse me. How do these things work? Is it like a mystery bag? Yeah. And what's in there? Just like random stuff from there? Or did they select a couple things that might be good? They're handpicked. Hmm. Can I take this bag? We're back at the place that's been hitting for us. The super thrift here in Reseda. When things are going well, you keep going back to that place. And we've been finding a lot of great flips here, which made me think, are the better deals here or at the Goodwill bins? We haven't been there in a while. So today we're gonna do the super thrift first and compare our finds to the Goodwill bins right after. But, Juventus Adidas jacket. special edition or something. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle here. Just a reminder, I'm still raising funds for the Neighborhood Knit Foundation. And also this jacket has a terrible sell-through rate. Now that I think of it, this might be the first time we've ever gotten a cart here. A brand we love to see, Patagonia. This is just a basic t-shirt for a running, hiking, whatever. It's a light blue color and unfortunately my size, so I'm keeping this one at three bucks. Nice. Logos there, little stain there, small stain there, but it feels like there's something on the back. God, why do people put numbers on there? Great. This Christmas sweater is actually a college sweater for Rose Hillman. It's an Institute of Technology in Indiana. I love grabbing these Champion Eco Fleece sweaters, especially the collegiate ones. This one had good color and zero fading. It's still new, but it had this hole that someone cut into it, so I had to put it back. And I couldn't leave this shirt behind for $1.50 today. It's Button Willow Racing. It's got this cool embroidery of a motorcycle. I don't know if you know the raceway, but it's out past Bakersfield. Definitely picking it up. This is a cool shirt. No tags, so it's kind of like one of those generic ones, but... This thing's something I would definitely grab, but there's a couple snags. And a stain right here. Pretty bad. Shell jacket? Is this like a work jacket? Pit crew jacket. Definitely reflective. Still in good shape. Unisex size small. It's got the hood. If we have to get this, especially if it's going to be under 10 bucks for us. I don't know a lot about these guys, but I know people love them. I think it's the all guy group. I don't even know. Got four bucks. Got to be three for the 25% off. Take that one. All right, so not a lot doing today. We were just here, so we just looked through all this stuff, so not a lot. We're not gonna go up there, but that's where the kids' stuff is, and then the women's stuff is all the way over there. So we spent 34 bucks. There really wasn't a lot going on in there. I just knew I'd already picked through there, so I knew there wouldn't be too many things. I was hoping there'd be more. We'll see if we could find, hopefully, definitely hope we find more profits than we just found here. Still, the fact we were able to get two bags, a lot of it's bigger items. Just glad I was able to get something. But it's been a while since we've been to the Goodwill bins. It's not like it's super far, it's just not one of the closer things to us. It's about 30 minutes, especially once the traffic starts going. Really, it's just down the street from me, but it's a long street, it's a busy street. We pass major freeways on the way, so it's LA, what can you do? But the last couple times we went, it was just kind of overwhelming. There's a lot of people in there. It seems like there's a lot more pickers. It really, it's just the luck of the draw anyways, like what day you go in, what they're wheeling out, what people are looking at, and what they're grabbing. Either way, it's always kind of a crapshoot. We're gonna hopefully find some things to best our performance here at the Super Thrift, but we're just hoping to find anything because in the end, it's all going towards the store. Hopefully make some profits on it. The other day I was watching Mikey bag the money and do his deliveries for his DoorDash. He ended up going to Jollibee, which is one of my favorite places to eat. It's like a Filipino fast food, but they have chicken, they have spaghetti, they have these pies that are amazing. They have awesome juices. So uh, when I told Lynn I would be coming to the Goodwill Bins, I knew it'd be to buy Jollibee. She said she wanted to meet me for lunch. So we're going to Jollibee now to get some food and then we'll go to the Goodwill Bins to uh, see if we can continue making some money. Lynn flips in the house Hi. and we're at Jollibee. Do you have a double wrap? Yeah, we do have a I want spicy. One month, we don't have time. Thank you. Yeah, we just put the number for the size of the It's cream, it's pretty. Is it? It's powdery. Yeah. <laughs>
quick lunch done. Lynn, how you feeling? Pretty jolly. <laughs> All right, this place is packed. Parking lot's packed, street parking's packed, so I don't know if I've ever seen it this busy, but we also haven't been here in a while, so let's see how it looks. These are the kinds of shirts I only give a second look at the Goodwill bins. This will be about three bucks and they actually sell surprisingly. Let Moto pants. This would like some favorite flame retardant pants or something. Bummer, the zipper is too far gone. I don't pick up a lot of Levi's, but at the bins, we'll risk it for that. Classic. Peanut butter and crust. This is a uh, fake. It's not real Nike. Seems interesting. Yeah, it looks like a windbreaker. I don't know. I'll describe it. I first spotted the tag on these jeans, then I noticed they were size 60, big and tall. Some of these sizes sell well. People really just have to be looking for them, and I'm willing to wait on them, so I grabbed them. Slim pickings. I did find this cool hat, balloon flight around the world. It's old, but I haven't been picking up hats. I'm just throwing it in ways like nothing. The lucky brand is one that kind of sells. More lucky brand. See, I'm more willing to pick this up. It's like a military jacket. As long as the zipper works, I'm gonna grab it because we are light today. Yeah, let's take it. Oh. Yeah. I think I didn't show you guys this one. It doesn't have a tag, but it's definitely vintage. Washington DC 1993 right here. The fade's cool, it's an even fade, so it's just something. When you only got this, you gotta grab it. You can. The good edit denim on tags, $20 each. Excuse me, how do these things work? It's like a mystery bag? Yeah. So these are just filled with t shirts of any size, mm. and then the orange one is filled with denim. It's also filled with any size. And what's in there? Just like random stuff from there? Or did they kind of select a couple things that might be good? Or? They're hand picked. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. So you get to pick like either one? Yeah, it doesn't matter. What do they usually weigh? About 30 ish pounds. Okay. 20 to 30. What does that usually cost? Like 30 pounds uh, of clothes is like. It would be about like 60 something. Oh, really? It seems like a good deal. Has anyone gotten lucky with these? Uh, I see like 50 50. 50, 50. people that like it and people that it. Okay. Hmm. Can I take this back? That'll be 15. Seems like a fun gamble. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Alright, so I've never seen anything like that. It's a mystery grab bag from the Goodwill bins. 15 bucks for something that's, she said about 30 pounds, which would be like 60 bucks. The only reason I grabbed this is because it has this Grand Prix racing team. I think it's like a jacket of some sort, hopefully, but why not? This is what I found. This is the mystery. Ended up being pretty close to what it would have been. This is what I got at the Super Thrift. This is what I got here at the Goodwill Bins. The difference is here I paid 25 for these two bags. I paid 35 over there at the thrift store. So I'm really excited about it this mystery bag. The mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. Okay, so we've seen them both, but Goodwill Bins came out with a wild card. This mystery bag. Not sure what to expect in there. I'm hoping that we can find something just hidden in this bag because I saw a Grand Prix racing team. I do like grabbing racing stuff a lot of times. Sometimes there are bigger brands and more popular to the race community. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find something in there. If not, it's really just the gamble for it. So I know they kind of bank on people who've taken that risk and 
on that sucker. Let's see what we can find in there. Who could resist the call of the mystery box? It is interesting though that the Goodwill bins has gone the route of a mystery bag like that. I don't know how long they've been doing these bags, but I definitely wanted in on it just to see what it would be like or what the experience would be like. The biggest takeaway I think of that is that the Goodwill bins or the staff at the Goodwill bins are hand picking everything out of the thing now. So maybe they were doing it before. That's what always the rumors have been that they've been taking out the good stuff and putting it online and such. But now we know for sure at least that they're taking out some things that they deem a little more valuable or could be valuable and putting them in these mystery bags. We'll see if there is actually any value in there, but the fact that the lady at the register told me that they were hand-picking things and choosing, she said it was about 50-50 on if the bags hit or not. I don't know even know what hitting on a $15 bag is, but we're gonna figure it out because we need to see what's inside of ours. So today started off as the head-to-head -head battle between the thrift store and the Goodwill bins, but we just got the wild card. All right, so this is what 15 bucks got us at the Goodwill bins. I got the scale out to see exactly what we bought for 15 bucks as far as weight goes. She said something like 30. It's closer to 20. 15 bucks for 17 pounds of things is definitely less than we would have paid at the Goodwill bins just if we picked them all ourselves. I guess I could have just untied that. First thing, spam shirt. Uh, definitely would not pick this up. So we'll just go ahead and categorize everything from would I pick it up or would I not pick it up? This is more of a novelty shirt. Maybe they sell for 10 bucks, but I don't even know if I would take the time to list it. Crush it, Team Express, crush it. I think this is a Quidditch thing. That's the ball or whatever. Would not pick it up. Another random t-shirt just based off how I see now. Would not grab it, 88. Definitely one of those brands. It looks like there's marijuana leaves on there. I don't think anyone would buy that shirt, even for two bucks or something. Uh, Comfort Fit, just a basic undershirt. So far, bunch of duds. Snow Day, dud. Shatter Day, 420, 2019, dud. No one really wants that. Urban Outfitters Medium, I don't think even someone wants this. I'm not even sure what shirt set is. Random VS, Val Surf. I like the surf shop. I didn't realize there were so many basic t-shirts out there. This is the breakfast club. No, clueless. It's just a print tee from 2017. Would not pick this up. At this point, we'll take $15 just to break even. Athletic Union Brain, Mind Over Matter, wouldn't pick it up. A Chippendale shirt, Live and Tell. This is like a novelty shirt you would get in Vegas after you got all sweated on by these buff dudes. Wouldn't pick it up. Costco Strong, would not pick this up. Stafford basic t-shirt. I'm gonna start putting these basic white ones on the ground because I'm not even gonna hassle carrying them around anymore. I'll put the maybe pile back there, but this I wouldn't list. T-shirt, Mother Earth's Plantasia, the almost hassle-free plant. Harbor Bay, basic tea, nope. Hawaii, USA, no. With others, crew. I don't know what that is. This is a Lucky Tease. It says British Invasion. I'm not sure. A Star Wars, your lack of faith is disturbing. It's got the Christmas stuff on there. Unfortunately, we're less than two weeks away, so don't think I'll have it listed or sold in time. Basic Quicksilver shirt, Lighthouse Film Service grip shirt, just a white shirt. A hoodie, O'Neal. Some of these I'm starting to see them as if I can get $10 out of them, I'll just take it. But even then, the time it would take to list all these. Women's March, Los Angeles. Truth to Power, I'm not sure if anyone wants that. Last Call, Played Yourself, I'm not sure. I didn't realize it was all t-shirts. I thought there was at least one jacket in here, but I guess not. Just Do It Nike, Kids Large. That's not worth listing. Those are like 10 bucks already in retail. Use kids, definitely not gonna sell. This shirt just says Texas, outrun, outlast, outdo. Also kids, it's peeling. The fact that they even put that in there is kinda making me mad that they even put that in there, but what do I expect? Fortnite shirt, maybe I could bundle up some of these. A basic divided shirt, I'm not even gonna list that. Ray Dunn, the future is female. Bare Leisure, not even gonna work. Champion tie-dye maybe 10 some of these now are just ten dollars best offer for five i completed blank laps my school booster thon no thanks see the shirt that i saw from the outside i'm hoping that'll at least be worth it but we'll save that for the end it just got real 2019 shirt opening team it's small though i'm surprised by how much is in here but also disappointed by how much junk is in here basic tea no thanks this is another undershirt it looks like yep Nope, it's just basic Hanes stuff now. This is a O'Neill kind of older design. It's a printed tag, so I'm doubting it's not that old. Another undershirt. They really just weighed it down with these. 
Oh, nice. Spearmint Rhino. I mean, this one might be able to sell, just based off the novelty of it. Amazon Essentials, Hollywood shirt that you can get in Hollywood by the stars. One of those overpay for a touristy shirt, gone. This is a kind of cool Nike shirt. A couple of swooshes around, so maybe 10. The Nike T, extra large. So we got a bunch of swooshes there. And then on the back, two more of the swooshes. Pretty cool. Oh, there's even one down here. A Burton Ernie T Public. A campfire before Christmas, camp something or other. I really despise these companies or these things, these events that make t-shirts when not only did no one ask for them, but no one wants them. No one would ever wear this again, and no one ever will because it's going in the trash. The last thing I'm starting to doubt is worth anything, but the Grand Prix Monaco World Championship t-shirt. This logo right here is what I saw through the bag. I thought maybe it might be worth something. I don't think so. It just got a basic tag. There's no year or anything. Maybe it's an event shirt, but looks like we've been taking it for 15 bucks because even if I'm able to get the money back in sales, the work plus the taxes that'll be taken out afterwards, just not gonna work out in the end. Don't get the mystery bag. Where's your boat? We didn't take the boat. We took the mystery box. Hop in.